<laughs> All right, now this Jenga building is not just the Jenga game, but this is our Tawheed building. All right, this is going to demonstrate to us Tawheed and what it is. Now, when you look at this building, how many, how many levels or stories do we have? How many do we have? 34. All right, we have 34 stories. Okay. And how many blocks are in the Jenga building? It's 1,372. Never mind. Never mind. Sorry. Okay, so what I want you to do when you're looking at this building, there's 32 levels. All right? Now, Tawheed, as we talked about before, there's two categories of it. What are they? Lordship and worship. Lordship and worship. All right? And then we said when we talked about Shirk, there's also two levels of it. Major, minor. Major and minor. All right? Now, when you're looking at Tawheed, the base of it, the strongest part of it, which is saying La ilaha illallah, right? The, the worship and the lordship is the base of the building. All right? The base of the building. And the top of it is all of the extra things like your salah, like your zakat, like your good manners and things like that. Now when you commit shirk with Allah Azza wa Jal, if you are committing minor shirk, you are removing a top piece. Let's do it. Remove a top piece. Very careful. Now look, this is, this is your akhirah, this is your hereafter. All right. If this building is intact when you pass away and you die, then you have an akhirah. As the Prophet ﷺ said, Man qala la ilaha illallah dakhal al jannah. Whoever says la ilaha illallah will enter paradise. That just doesn't mean saying it. You don't just, anyone can say it. But it means really believing it and understanding it. Not doing anything that would oppose it. Right? Or remove it. That means not removing all of the blocks. Alright, let's have one more top piece. You just committed minor shirk. So one top piece. Oh, see? He did one minor shirk, but something else happened as well. There was another shirk that was happened that committed and you didn't even know it. And so something fell on the building. All right, now, what I want you to do. What I want you to do is remove a piece from the middle. Don't make the biggest shirk and bump the table and it'll be all over. Yep. All right, careful now. Careful. Careful now. All right, all right. Good, 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 good. All right, you're still okay. Alhamdulillah. Oh, oh, yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, but that was just shirk. So that's not alhamdulillah. That's astaghfirullah. Yeah, you just put a big hole in the tawheed of Allah. In the Tawheed building. All right. Now, are you ready, sir? Robert, you need to drop it. I want you to take one from the very bottom. Take one from the very bottom. Can I help you? All right, all right. You're still there. You're still there. Doing good. You're doing good. All right, it's still up. It's still up. All right. That's a major shirk. All right? Now, I want you to take one from the very bottom. What? That's impossible. <laughs> take one from the very bottom. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Now listen. This is Tawheed. All right? I can take it from here? No, the bottom bottom. All the way at the bottom. That's the point. Do it. Here we go. If it stays up, I'll give you 25 points. <laughs> All right, give us one piece, one shirk, major shirk. Here we go. What's going to happen? Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. No, that's so impossible. Take both. Take both. Take it. Take both. Alright. 
Okay, so now that the uh, the building has been toppled, all right. Now that the shirk has been committed, and you have entered into the akhir of the next life, is there anything left there for Allah to to forgive? It's gone. There's nothing left. There's nothing remaining of la ilaha illallah. Remember the hadith: Whoever says la ilaha illallah will enter paradise. Your la ilaha illallah building has been destroyed. So what happens? What can you understand from that statement? Whoever says la ilaha illallah will enter paradise. What's the opposite of it? Whoever doesn't say it, go to hell. Whoever doesn't say it will not enter paradise. All right. And there's only one other place, and we ask Allah to protect all of us from that place.